And this is called the flooding in the unusual places. It's also called the uh, 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 different weather in different regions that would not normally be that way. And some people, like the old people that I remember from my days and myself, some people say it's the end of time coming, when you don't know the seasons from one season to the next. And that is what the full blow is about it. Unpredictable weather can change the strains in the climate patterns are also some of the effects of global warming. I'm using notes today because I have some facts that I wasn't aware of. And it's interesting because the problem of global warming and how to curb global warming is being looked at by various countries and the United Nations even. They have passed a law called protocol. And uh, it, it talks about how the countries in the United States and different countries around the world are trying to stop and to find ways to stop global warming. Warming with uh, uh, helping the atmosphere to be better for the future generations as well. Because we know we can't live on Earth if it's too hot. We just, we'll just go away and become extinct. And some, some species will become extinct as well, or becoming extinct, like frogs and the polar bears may not be able to live in the lab because they are, they're used to all the cold. Are the glaciers melting? What can you do about it? Here's three simple things we can do to stop. We can do to stop global warming. There are a lot of things that you can do, and I just selected three that I think I would possibly you can walk more than drive a car to short places like if it's in your neighborhood or somewhere that you can get on maybe about a 15 minute walk or 20 minute walk to your errand. And this will limit the increase of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in the atmosphere. And also, you can tune up your car system. If you do that more often, that will keep it running more efficiently fuel wise. And that will keep the carbon monoxide and dioxide from going up into the clouds. Even the cows have a thing that they do. Uh, they leave helium from their uh, belching and all that little stuff that they do. That creates global warming also because it affects the atmosphere and the ozone hole. Turn off your television computers and other devices you're not in use. Sometimes they tell us never to turn off the television, uh, a computer. Leave it on, but I always turn mine off because that helps you to stop global warming. Buy fresh and organic foods instead of frozen foods because it takes more energy to um, keep frozen foods. So that would have global warming as well. Just a few little things that you can do with your pet to save the planet. Are you doing any of these things? Does anyone here care about the earth going behind the world like extinction? Have you ever thought about what we take for granted may never be here for our children, way out down the line, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren? They have to put on what we need to become. You want to encourage to look further into what we do to stop global warming. <coughs> and uh, Bozo.com has quite a few articles on global warming as well uh, that, uh, that talk about the children and the causes and the questions and the humble uh, whole rule with all the whole rule about. And I'd like to come back to this subject after a little while, but I want to tell you a little bit about Alaska. It's called the Great Land, and by TravelAlaska.com. This is a land where the dress code is informal and casual, and like in Cleveland, it's layered. Uh, people up there wear layers like we do here to keep from getting cold, or they can take them off if it gets to get too warm. And although it's full of glaciers, Alaska's summer daytime temperatures range from 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Nighttime and early morning, this is in the summer, right now in the summertime, when it gets here. It's cooler, it'll be around 40 to 50 degrees at night. And only 20% of the last 650,000 residents are native and have native descent. They are Alaska's first people. They, uh, you can go to Alaska National Heritage Center to find out more about that. And also, there are groups of Alaska natives that are identified by regions. Uh, northern and western coast, uh, interior and inside passage. These are the regions where different 650,000 these people live. But the native cultures are further divided based on similarities of tradition, language, and proximity. Indigenous is referred to in the Western Dictionary as a native existence of growing naturally in a regional country. And they are described as an indigenous people, the native. In the essence of time, 
I want to take you to are the glaciers melting? What can you do about it? Well, global warming is the increase in the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere caused by greenhouse gases. What about global warming for kids? Well, if you go to Buzzle.com, this writer says, as the late Michael Jackson is saying, heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. Now is the time to act. It's not just the planet, it's our home. And I say, we live here. What are you going to do about it? Do your bit. Do your part to save the world. Okay. <laughs>